and drive some mini roundabouts. There's going to be quite a lot that we're going to do today. So this is the first of the mini roundabouts coming up just as we exit the town centre. Right hand lane as you can see, just checking that there's nobody coming from the right and we can drive on. So mini roundabouts are designed really to slow traffic down, whereas your standard type of roundabout is designed to keep traffic flowing. A mini roundabout as you'll see as we're driving around it's just a painted white blob on the floor anything that's got a curb around it or it's slightly raised you treat as a standard type of roundabout here's a mini roundabout just coming up we're going to turn right so we're just, just going to check our relevant mirrors middle and right signal right we go down into a low gear for this second gear should be okay again checking to the right to make sure it's safe So there's many mini roundabouts along this route, so I'm going to give you just a talk through what I'm doing at each one of them. Mini roundabouts by the definition means they're quite small, and because they're quite small we don't need to signal to exit a mini roundabout. If it was quite a large mini roundabout you could certainly signal to exit, but smaller mini roundabouts there quite simply just isn't enough time to signal to exit the mini roundabout but on approach we treat the approach as exactly the same as a standard roundabout so checking mirrors signaling if required we're going ahead at this one so no signal slowing down second gear should be fine for this one so as we're in a medium sized car we should be able to drive around the mini roundabout it's not going to look great on your driving test if you are just driving straight across the mini roundabouts. We should be making a real effort to drive around the mini roundabout. A vehicle like this oncoming bus here, for example, they won't be able to drive around the mini roundabout because they're too big. So yeah, you would expect at least a, a couple of their wheels to go across the mini roundabout. I'm gonna go into first gear for this one. It's quite tight, this one. So if you look down the road ahead, you can see there's a blue mini roundabout sign there with a give way sign just above it. We should be looking for these road signs um, ahead as we're driving along. Sometimes mini roundabouts can be quite hard to see just by the nature of them being driven over quite regularly uh, by larger vehicles and vans and buses and things. Um, the actual center painted white blob and sometimes the road markings themselves, the give way lines, can be quite faded. They can be quite hard to see sometimes. So you must be looking down that road ahead. You should see the standard triangular roundabout sign on approach. And then as we get to the roundabout, you should see the blue mini roundabout sign as well. So yeah, keep looking for clues that are gonna let you know that there's a mini roundabout coming up. park cars here just to deal with so I'm just gonna go around these nice and carefully looking down that road ahead checking for oncoming cars and have a look having a look to see if I would need to give way to any oncoming cars as it happens it was all pretty uneventful there really so we're gonna go first exit of this one so we're gonna check middle mirror left mirror I'm gonna pop a left signal on here just to make it absolutely clear that I am going left park cars here to deal with so I'm just going to check mirrors move out around these park cars and then checking mirrors making it sure that it's safe to move back in so you'll notice I'm taking these mini roundabouts pretty slowly pretty carefully and always in a low gear second and first gear sometimes required for these mini roundabouts ahead at this one just coming up now there are a series of speed bumps through here as it's round the back entrance to a school but there should be room for two reasonable sized vehicles to fit past each other as we go through there again speed bumps so regular checks in that rear view mirror these speed bumps are quite severe so 
10 to 12 miles an hour is normally nice and comfortable for this type of speed bump and we've got another mini roundabout coming up this is almost a, a straight ahead um, at this roundabout but there you can see the mini roundabout signs so just checking them mirrors bringing the speed down to a safe speed making sure we have a little check to the right make sure there's no one popping out of there and then we can proceed so thanks for watching that was a demonstration of how to do mini roundabouts i hope that's helped and uh, please like please subscribe and there'll be more videos coming shortly safe driving